Descartes was one of the, the main progenitors of what became called the new philosophy in the 17th century. And these people, most of them at least effectively, are trying to uh, recast natural philosophy uh, in a way that is, is, is much more amenable to the way people are thinking more generally in the 17th century. And they're inclined, on the whole, to think of the world as a machine. And because of that, Descartes is one of a number of people who are called mechanical philosophers. Uh, Descartes is the best of the mechanical philosophers. He can explain any kind of activity in the world, or if you like, the universe, through the motion of particles or through the image of, of a machine. Not just things that we can see in the world, things like animals and growth, uh, Descartes tries to explain through mechanical means, but also uh, invisible particles, things that we can see in this period at least, increasingly through microscopes, Descartes is more and more willing to explain these things through mechanical means. The problem for Descartes is that he is very willing to suggest that dogs and cats and birds and many other things are machines. And there are many great creators of automata in court culture who can make wonderful birds and dogs and cats that mimic uh, real birds and dogs and cats. The problem for Descartes is that it's only a very small move to suggest that human beings are machines. Moreover, to suggest that the world is a machine takes us back to some of the problems that existed in the 13th century. Because to suggest the world is a machine that can work perfectly well on its own implies that God created a wonderful entity at the start of time that was so good that he just left it. He left it to work off its own devices. So the problem for mechanical philosophers is how do you bring God back in? So you need, in, in the parlance of the time, to, to bring back activity into the world. The world can't just be a machine. You have to rethink how the world is. And people like Descartes are, are really in the horns of a dilemma because the mechanical philosophy is a wonderful system. It explains everything, but that's its problem. So Descartes has a very radical solution, and it's a solution that's not believed by many of his interpreters. But Descartes argues that God is, is not absent from his universe, but in fact is so present in the universe that he recreates the universe from one moment to the next. We can't see that as human beings because obviously we're not clever enough, we can't detect it with our scientific instruments, but actually God recreates the world from one moment to the next, partly because for any one moment in time there's no reason why it should continue to exist in that form rather than not continue to exist. That extra push, if you like, to get it to exist for more than one moment in time must come from some gigantic causal motor who is God.